<sighs> Hello everyone, my name is Kumo, and it's been two years since I've played Monster Hunter World. Oh man. It's been a long time, my friends. The music so nice. <sighs> so the Monster Hunter series is a series that I've been playing my entire life from the original PS2 game to Freedom 2, which is my all-time favorite Monster Hunter was Freedom 2, um, to, man, oh man, to, uh, Second G, which was Japanese only, and so on, to, to Monster Hunter 3, Ultimate, try to Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate to Generations Generations X oh man so many different Monster Hunter games I've gone through pretty much every single one to 4 Ultimate to try to oh man cause I would play the uh, cause in Japan back then when I was playing a lot of Monster Hunter, it would go from when they released their ultimate version, we would get the regular version that's high, high rank only, and then when they released the next generation game, we would get the ultimate version. So Japan was always a year ahead, or a game ahead, basically, theoretically. And, uh,. This is the first Monster Hunter that, like, was released, Western release at the same time, like, in all regions. And that's, I don't, it's not my favorite Monster Hunter, sorry, the nostalgia for me goes way back to Monster Hunter 2. This is a really good Monster Hunter, probably up there in the second one, probably, maybe the third best in my opinion, but... I love what they added to the game in the environment, but the nostalgia for me just goes way back to Freedom 2 and Freedom Unite and all those ones. Because back then, when I would play those games when they first came out, I would um, be, I was in high school and we would uh, walk around, you know, go to different shopping centers and sit down in a group of us, four or five of us, sometimes a little more. We would split the groups up and we would just hang out, eat food, and just hunt monsters, you know, go to a buffet, eat monster, or eat food, um, for, you know, hunt monsters, or even during school, like lunch break, we would eat, hunt monsters, you know, you know, break time, hunt quick monster, see if we can, see if we can kill like a, uh, uh, a Rathalos, G rank Rathalos in 10 minutes with all four of us playing. <laughs> like just stuff like that because it was so much fun uh, so much nostalgia my best friends in real life even to this very day that I'm still friends with still play Monster Hunter and it's just amazing and I wanted to come back and continue take a break from Yakuza take a break from Dead by Daylight and just play the game that made me the most happiest growing up so here it is Monster Hunter World I have not played since Kulturov, I believe. I remember getting Platinum Trophy in April of the year came out and just going super hardcore five, five, 500 to 600 hours in and then getting a little burnt out. Played the DLC stuff. I have not done Bahamut or anything like that. I've done Devil Joe and Kulturov. That's when I stopped. So, 
let's go ahead and go over my equipment sets real quick so I can remember what I had okay so this right here well there we go I'm looking at it now uh, attack boost we can exploit handicraft okay these are things that I was playing late game in before I stopped playing I played this all solo offline I didn't like playing really online I like doing my own hunts I played with friends here and there but like I had a whole separate account for that and this one was like the account I played mostly solo getting all the trophies I did solo and all that stuff unless it was specifically for getting them all online and I remember this is my favorite build um, for dual swords back then I think this one I found through a Japanese person and then I couldn't really tell what it was but thankfully there was a youtuber out there that translated everything and his name was fighting cowboy I don't know if he made this set but I remember seeing it, a Japanese player use it and then uh, I saw it again and cowboy made a video of it so I don't know where it came from but I think I, I, I remember able to look at everything and understand everything and read everything because of cowboy and that's why I just want to say thanks cowboy for that uh, fire and ice I remember watching in a video when he was explaining that this is a 35% affinity and then there's uh, ice and blast I think so fire and ice and uh, this is a mixture of Kushaladora and uh, Teostra and I remember having Infinity Booster, Handicraft, so you, you keep sharpening, you had really nice long uh, uh, white sharpness and um, most of the monsters in Monster Hunter World uh, before Iceborne were always weak or neutral to ice and fire and blast and all that stuff so this would pretty much you could use this set throughout the entire game uh, and then of course some light bowgun See, I want to show you guys the longsword build that I was using back then. This is a uh, divine slasher with uh, weakness ex exploit and non elemental boost and critical eye and handicraft and all that stuff. Weakness exploit. Um, I don't remember where I found this build out, but I think uh, I saw someone do like a TA video on it and they killed Nergagante with this build in like two minutes or three minutes. And I wanted to see how fast I could do it. And I think I got like 3 minutes, 30 seconds, or 4 minutes, something like that. And it was really nice. Um, then there's another, so many builds, man, that I had. Because I was very versatile when I played this. So, excuse me, I'm just, um, don't mind me, I'm just trying to get back in to remember what I had. I remember this was the strongest, um, charge blade back then. Uh, Di the Diablos, and then the Archangel was a, uh, I remember reading this somewhere on the, uh, community, and some YouTuber, uh, came up with this build. I don't know where he got it from or anything, or I forgot who he even was, but... This is a build that had rodeo stuff in it, and um, uh, let's see, let's see my gems. Uh, whatever. Uh, this is where you would uh, get Super Saiyan buffs, basically from your bug, and then um, you would jump into the air with rodeo gems on and stuff like that, and like mounting easy mount easy to mount and you would ride the dragon basically the whole time and just not keep knocking it down it was archangel you would always like do this uh, I think it's like the circle r1 or r1 circle where you would uh, use your um, insect glaive to uh, to uh, pull vault into the air and then go down that's why it's called archangel then this is my uh, great sword build actually um, Sorry, I'm tr just remembering the controls. Uh, it's been a long time since I played. All right, great sword. Uh, I remember this was the fire or firework great sword build with the, when the double Joe came out, and 
I learned about this, I think, through Team Darkseid. And those guys are crazy when they do builds and stuff like that. So this was my go-to uh, greatsword build. Um, it had earplugs in it so you could just go go Havoc against a monster and not worry about anything. Massive critical eye. And so you would just keep charging your shots with Infinity Booster. And it had a um, focus on it so you know your charges would be fast and everything. And you would just smash the monster like crazy all the time. And then there was one other build. I don't remember who I got this from or where I got it from. It might have been something that uh, Pimento was uh, looking at or someone. And this build right here, you just keep spamming circle. If I remember correctly, when the monster goes down, you spam your dragon piercer and you just keep doing that constantly. Very fun stuff. Um, all the monsters in the game so what I'm going to do now is just hit sell items and just look and see what there was back then uh, when I was playing this has been a long time I don't remember every monster because this is the first monster hunter game I played I played every single monster hunter beat it thoroughly offline by myself and the only time when I would play online it was with real life friends and uh, I had a whole separate account, so I was very, very uh, competitive and picky with my Monster Hunter games. So, unless there was something they, unless one of my friends would come to me and be like, yo, I need help killing this, uh, can you use your strongest character? Then I would go on my main and we would just smash whatever it was. But just playing for fun, I never really liked getting carried or anything. I did everything myself. That's just how I was back then. And I. No one really complained or anything. Um, we still got the job done no matter what character I was on. So, if my characters weren't like bad, the ones I played online with with my real life friends, those characters weren't like bad or anything. Those are strong characters still. So I remember rocking a male for my offline stuff, and then to mess around and have fun with my friends and do stupid builds and stuff like that. We would, um, I would, we'd all, I would, I had a go character so. Cause I like the animations different from the men and the women. I prefer playing as a guy though, for sure. Um, Sam Inferno Sacks. So those are from... Okay. Electro Sack. Kizus would have a lot of those. Under Sacks. Bird Wyvern Gems. Wyvern Gems. I have a lot of Elder Dragon Blood. So there's a lot of Elder Dragons in this game. See, there's Kushadora, Teostra, um, what was it, Valzak, something like that, Puke Puke, okay, okay, so all the memory is starting to return to me as I'm looking through all this stuff real quick, okay, so let's see, Rathi and Angela, Oh, this thing. This was that one monster in the water. Oh, Toby Kodachi, okay. I remember this lizard guy. Alright. Le Legiana? Oh, okay. Legiana was here. Got it, got it. This was that cotton candy looking Yoshi Story monster that, remember in Yoshi Story for the 64, you would lick that cotton candy guy to death, basically. That's what it looked like to me. Uh, Az Azur Arathlos, alright. Urgen. Rathalos, alright. Cool, 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 cool. They're good Gante. Oh god, I hated that thing. I killed it so many times too. Because I needed all of its stuff. Um, or I needed to get the Platinum Trophy, and that was the last monster I really needed. And I couldn't get the small version of it. Or the large version of it, I mean. And the large version, it was really nitpicky with it. You had to, like, wait in um, a mantle and see if his wings would be above, like, a certain mark of a pillar. And if they were above it, then that's a slight chance it could be, like, a strong one. I killed this thing so many times. Look at those nine gems. Jeez. Huh. <laughs> Kul'Turoth. Okay. That's the last monster I fire, remember. 
I didn't fight Bahamut or anything like that. I think it was Cold Throth was the last thing. Okay, so now that I remember everything, let's go and have some fun. And I did before I um, started the playthrough and record. Um, I was actually not planning to. I was just planning just to have fun and not really care. But I'm like, you know, I've been playing Yakuza and you know Dead by Daylight like a lot. Let's give this channel some more diversity and play some games that I really love playing. So that's why I did that. I did talk to a lot of people in the village to get rid of those pesky uh, exclamation points because there's just so many, and I didn't want to do that during the video because those things were just annoying to see everywhere for me. It's like, ah, I need to talk to these people so the question marks go away or the exclamation points. But yes, we're back. With them. And it's just so much nostalgia just running through my veins right now. Back in the day, just going from, uh, we would have monsters during lunchtime, um, during breaks. We had five minutes to kill a G-rank Rathalos, all four of us. <laughs> I may be able, I'm pretty rusty, guys, so don't judge. I'm just returning back from a long break. No mistake. It's really here. I know that Iceborne's out and I do have Iceborne. I think this what we're playing right now is Iceborne. So this is the very start of Iceborne. So the end of uh, World itself and then the start of Iceborne, that's where I'm at now. I wonder what comes next. Okay. It's so quiet. What gives? I haven't seen so much as a bug. Where are the birds? Maybe something's got them all spooked? Mm. Those tracks were headed west, partner. You remember... Wonder if the next Freedom 2 was my favorite monster here. hunter. Ah, uh, just because of all the nostalgia I and like the stay here for at least another decade. finding the fatalities and the they contours, the soloing them was just years, right? like if you did that, you were considered top dog back then, like a king basically. If you could solo a fatalis by yourself, you were a monster hunter king back then, because there's no online unless you got like an. You got on eBay, bought an emulator, downloaded the emulator, found some people that were able to create uh, their own servers and have you connected. Like, it was just crazy. No one did that a lot. Unless people were actively had groups for it and you would have to go to, like, RC chat, like, like IRC right internet right. relay chat and just find people that way. Or, like, through AIM messenger or groups, just random places. No, or you'd be like, yo, or you'd have to like see if people, if people knew anyone that had servers to connect to back then in the early 2000s. No one, no one had any. This was the internet was like popping off. Which reminds me, you never told me what your reason was. Hold on, looks like we're close. Yes, story time will have to wait. What's up, buddy? Ooh, okay. Leggy on the tracks here too. <sighs> oh. Do 
For once, she did not fall, and we had to jump and save her. Well, that's good. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna start a series, just starting fresh from Iceborne. So I'll probably do this in episodes. Just, yeah. So no spoilers, guys. And then after I'm done catching up and the storylines, all that good stuff's done, I'm gonna start uh, just doing speedrun kills and all that good stuff. So I was pretty good at killing stuff. Like I killed Nergagante less than four minutes and stuff like that. We have a serious topic to discuss. As such, I've assembled the fleet masters, along with the first fleet field team members I've been able to reach. I'm sure that you are all aware by now. Legiana have been leaving the new world in droves, flying far out into the open sea. Director, please take it from here. Gladly, sir. Firstly, as a species, Lagiana are not known for long-distance migration, nor for abandoning their primary habitat. Why they've begun ecological mystery. Either something has begun to affect the biological nature of the Lagiana, or they've been driven out by some change in their habitat, some anomaly that has stimulated them to migrate beyond the sea. Beyond the sea. <laughs> Commander? <laughs> Just some deja vu. <clears throat> so, thoughts? Ha! Do you have a need to ask? I can tell by that fire in your eyes that your mind's already made up. It's not just you, Commander. I think we've all gotten tired of following the same old routine lately. Good. I hereby declare we focus all available resources on investigating this Legiana issue. Effective immediately. Oh, now we're talking! <laughs> Commander, sir. We were thinking that if we follow the migrating Legiana, we should be able to discover somewhere to land. Like a new island, even. So, we go by ship. Or, better yet, Something a little more stimulating. Air travel's our specialty, after all. Yes, the Third Fleet's airship would allow us to spot the best landing area and help us get an idea of the surroundings. That settles it, then. I'll be choosing who to dispatch, but I need you to stay and watch over everyone here. I'll need hands from the provisions and technology divisions. We'll need your help to set up a forward operating base. And you two, tell your fleet to ready themselves. Once your preparations are complete, assemble at the council table. We may not know what lies out there, but that's no reason to falter. Just like the star-guided youth of legend, we must always press on. Good luck, everyone. And may the Sapphire Star light your way. All right, then. Dismissed. Ooh, master, master rank, okay. Your hunter rank HR cap has been removed. The following assignment limiting HR will be marked complete. Beyond blessing skill. Note the same concept. Okay. Sweet. Next big step. Head to the council table when you're ready. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> well, off you go. Speak to the commander. Uh, this commander? I just talked to him though. Talk to him again. Okay. Okay, yes. Sir. Let's do it. He really likes talking about the Sapphire Star, don't he? Hey, the Sapphire Star, light your way.
She's with the fleet master. They're outside. You're certain? Yes. The clouds were headed in the same direction as the Legiana. The wind was blowing toward the northwest that day, so... Hey! Prepared? I gotta say the cats in this game in the series have advanced so well, I'm so happy. Yeah. I can't wait to get started. No island. You're right. It's a land mass. <laughs> no kitty. It's too dangerous to continue. But we're almost there. We must regroup. You two inside. Let's go. Lead the way. Okay. Oof. <laughs> the cat is so cute. I can't handle it. My little Xeno Jiva kitty. Oh, look at all this snow. And it's freezing. Hey. We can't stay out in this cold. Let's go build a camp. Let's set up camp before we freeze to death. Well, we should, we um. You know, cuddle up, miss, um, partner, so, you know, get that heat circulation going. We are now encrypted with Direwolf. Okay, cool. Better, but it's still so cold. Well, the back of my cat's head looks like Donald Duck. Oh, God, that's creepy. The hat. I looked like a dead Donald Duck with his eye. It, what? That was creepy, dude. How do I zoom? <sighs> See, look at that. Like from the side. It looks like Donald Duck's dead. Dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that. It has like a little X on an eyeball. Oh man, that's creepy, dude. I just find an Easter egg or a creepypasta or something. He's even dressed in like the same colors. Donald Duck has blue and white, right? Oh man, alright. Enough about that. We can make a hot drink out of these peppers to beat the cold. Okay. Looks like it opens up a bit ahead. Let's see, can we combine? Let's slip through here. Mammoths. Starts to bring back memories of freedom too. With all like the, all the ice and man I can't wait. I hope there's a Tiger X in this one. Yes. So I'm super pumped dude. Yo, that poo poo is strong, bro. Rocket. It's been a while since I attacked, so I'm just trying to get used to it. Time to go get the footprint. Those tracks look like fin marks. Fin? I remember seeing ones just like it in the new world. Definitely large monster tracks. I gotta say, compared to all the other Monster Hunter games, then environmental stuff where you can literally just go to camp and like, if you forget drinks and forget to eat, you can literally do that. And, uh, you know, switch out, go get some ammo or swap to something else. You know, get some bombs ready to explode something that's asleep. So no st so awesome. I give, I give them that. I'm happy about that. Not having to Let's go check it out. pick up weight stones or bug nets and anything. I think we found our first tracks. Okay. Oh. No way. Oh, okay, never mind. Thought it was a Tiger X. I think I fought this thing before in the previous games. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
Never mind. I have not. I'll look around for a landing site. You secure the area, partner. According to my notes, this monster is called Fail Totus. Oh, it says its legs are its weak point. You can get it out of the snow so you can attack it. Okay, he doesn't instantly heal you anymore. God, that's really good. I was cheap before. Ah, dang. Ah, oh, come on. That would have been crazy. No berry. That would have been a crazy hit, guys. Sad I didn't get it off. Ah. Oh, All good. Oh, my stamina though. Hold up. Give me a second. Whatever. <laughs> Burnt me. Alright, back to fighting. Oh, we ran away. Okay. This is so cool though. Oh, sorry, kitty. Oh, we can ledge him. Come here. Reminds me of Final Fantasy music.
I forgot how to do that stuff. Turf war. Oh, what the heck is that? Ooh, kill that thing too. It's like a cold turf that's not gold. Yes, get him. That was a good hit. Ooh. You ain't going nowhere. Get back here. You little shit. Come over here. There you go. Uh huh. Oof. Waste of a booster. Ah, whatever. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No. No. Oh well. No one saw that. Attacks are effective to get the Beotodus up onto the snow. Let's go eat. If you knock the snow off its body, your attacks will be more effective. Can't believe I died, dude. <laughs> oh, it's all good. We're rusty. We'll get back into the swing of things. The cold can really cut into your stamina. Perfect time for a nice hot drink. Don't has any. Hot 
pepper. Need ten of those things. Oh, this thing too. Oh, come on, dude. You broke it. Damn, bro! Alright. There we go, finally. Gotta shake off the rest, guys. Oh, come on, there we go. Get freaking wrecked, dude. One more, yes. Care if I die. Those are some good hits, eh? Oh, I killed it. Hell yeah. Hey, we, well, no, we ain't done yet. We're gonna go kill the other thing too. If it lets us. hot pepper all right that was our first episode and I just want to say thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time